Uh, we do have, of course, the potential for some strong storms in our area. Not so much up uh, through the central part of Florida and over to the coast, so it might be okay, but it might be pretty overcast there. Jensen Beach right now. Here's a quick look at what's happening so far this afternoon. Overcast skies, a couple breaks here and there, but not too many. And here's that cold front that continues to move down through Florida. And this is what is stirring up the atmosphere and helping to draw moisture out of the south to give us that potential for a few strong to severe storms this afternoon, which is why we call it a first warning weather day for Palm Beach County and for Southern Martin County through the afternoon into the early evening hours, just because there is a slight chance that we could see a few strong to severe storms. Now, as we've been on the air here since noon, the Storm Prediction Center has been shrinking that little marginal risk and they've taken Martin County out of the marginal risk. But that's not to say that a strong storm couldn't develop in Palm Beach County and then drift up into southern Martin County. So if you're in Martin County, I still want you to stay aware of what's going on this afternoon. Here's a look at the live radar now. We don't have any rainfall in the area at the moment. That's good news. We have the cloud cover, but no rainfall, and that's keeping our temperatures down. And that may prevent some strong storms from developing later on today. The lower the temperatures stay, the less instability in the atmosphere. So here's that marginal risk the Storm Prediction Center and you see it's really confined from Palm Beach County all the way south through Dade County. And as I mentioned earlier, they took Martin County out of it just a few moments ago, but there still could be some drifting storms heading up north. So here's the future track as we move through the afternoon hours. Here's about 1:30 this afternoon and you see those storms developing down south and moving up right over I-95 and the Turnpike and up toward northern Palm Beach County and one or two of those could make it into southern Martin County as well. You see them firing up really close. There's four o'clock this afternoon, some pop up storms still moving on through. And then as we get to about seven to eight o'clock tonight, things start to calm down across the area and overnight there's some isolated rainfall possible, but rain chances remain low. So here are the main storm impacts possibly for today. A high risk for heavy rainfall, high risk for gusty winds, medium risk, for small hail and even a brief tornado with some of these pop up thunderstorms. Now, the track for the cold front continues tomorrow. In fact, it's a little bit on the annoying side, if you will, for the weekend because it sort of hangs around Saturday and along the front, we'll see rain continue to develop on Saturday. We don't have a risk for severe weather on Saturday, but we could see kind of a soggy day at times as long as this front hangs around. The good news is by Sunday, the front heads down to the south, dry air moves in and we end up cooler and much drier for Sunday and Monday. So to end the weekend and start next week, Things look pretty nice and cool. Beachgoers today and boaters, isolated storms possible. Low risk for rip current seas two to three feet. Please, if you're headed down to the beach, pay attention to the weather. Our first warning weather day continues. Strong storms possible, mainly in our southern parts of our viewing area and a warm and humid day. Here's your first warning seven day forecast. Chance for rain about 50%. That's mainly for Palm Beach County this afternoon. Rest of the area with lower chances for rain. Overnight tonight into the 60s. Tomorrow highs in the mid 70s. Again, a 50% chance for rain, but only a few thunderstorms in the mix mostly just showers, and then we dry out. Temperatures drop down to the 50s on Sunday morning. Low 70s for highs on Sunday, low 70s for highs on Monday. Look at Monday morning in the 40s, and then we start to warm up again before another cold front moves through next Wednesday night into Thursday.